okay, we are back in part three. Next DVD I'm going to talk about is juggling. Do you want to learn to juggle by Will Royer? This is the same guy who did the Float This DVD. Um, you can, if you go on eBay to Vegas Magic, if and you search, well, you can't really search eBay for it. But if you search Google and you search eBay and Vegas Magic Shop, um, it'll come up. The guy who sells this is this guy. The guy who, he sells his own DVD. His own DVDs. He's a very good juggler. He, um, there's lots of stuff on this DVD. This DVD has so much juggling material on it. If you want to learn to juggle, buy this. It's it's awesome. It is by Magic Makers. If you can get over that, if you can get over that fact, it's great. It's Will Royer. I really like him. I think he's a very good uh, magician and juggler. And look at all the effects that he or I wouldn't say effects, but tricks. Three ball variations it teaches. I don't want to get the glare in there. But all those are different stuff. There's teaches you how to do the cascade and the the chops and the shower and box, extended box, claw, column, Statue of Liberty, windmill, mills mess. Great stuff. I've only gotten through half of the DVD because I need to master what I've already learned, which is about ten tricks. And there are like fifty tricks. So this DVD it's like six months worth of stuff to practice in juggling. So if you think that's just that's just awesome. He sells again Vegas Magic Trap, this is that guy. Um, he sells all kinds of really cool DVDs, really cheap DVDs. He sells this DVD, this is where I got it. I won this on his eBay account for three dollars, five dollars shipping. That is eight dollars. That's right, eight dollars for all this stuff. You can go on uh, sites like MJM Magic or Magic Warehouse, and they sell it for like twenty or thirty dollars. But he sells it for eight. I mean, it's just awesome. So if you want to learn juggling, go onto his eBay account and get this. He sells it like once every week. If not, check you know day every check weekly, and he'll have it up there. Okay. Now I'm going to do some magazine reviews. Let me put these all back in here so my stuff doesn't fall everywhere. You know, tilts over to the side. Um, first DVD, or DVD, not DVD, um, magazines I'm going to tell you about are magic magazines. These magazines are awesome. This one has a picture of a weird dude on it who I think might be uh, gay. Um, but... Here's a good one, <laughs> good cover. Now these, I don't, I don't subscribe to this monthly or yearly because it's fifty dollars a year, which is a bit much. But they, it's really cool. I, I, I won these D I in my S Y M or S A M when I used to go to those meetings in Florida. I live now I live in California. They would have lottery stuff or not lottery, but you know auctions and lots and stuff and. I got like 12 of these magic magazines for three bucks, which is, that's good. And these are from 2004, 2005. Um, but I say subscribe to them because they're really great. A lot, the unfortunate part is mo about, I'd say about half of the entire magazine or maybe one third of the entire magazines are ads. Um, but, you know, I like looking at magic ads. That's just me. But, um, it's cool, it has a lot of cool stuff, and there are t lots of tricks in it too, different, um, different reviews and tricks and all kinds of stuff. So I say those are cool. Um, yeah. Next magazine is The Linking Ring. I also got lots of these. Not lots, as in lots of them, but I also won a lot of these. Um, this is Jay Marshall. He's really cool. Um, these magazines are, um, they're not as high quality as the Magic, seeing as their pages are, like, black and white. Uh, you know, the pictures are black and white. And whereas Magic Magazine are, like, 
not even paper, they're like laminated. So I guess that's why they cost more, but Blinking Ring has more information, more tricks, and more history of magic, and they're cool too. Um, I like them both the same. I actually prefer Magic Magazine, but that's just me. Okay, those are two magazines I own. I'm going to go on to some books. First book that you have to have is Mark Wilson's Complete Course in Magic. This book is like, how many pages is it? 503 pages long. 503 pages long. Full of magic. Now this this is beginner. I if you're a beginner and even if you're intermediate, you need this book. I mean, it's just it's awesome. And there are so many effects and routines and magic. There's also in the end uh, illusions that you can create. You know, like out of cardboard and stuff, like a sub trunk and a and a tip over trunk and all kinds of cool stuff. So buy it. It's like twenty bucks. You can get this at Barnes and Noble for like 20 bucks and it's awesome so yeah buy that uh, another book you have to have modern coin magic really great you have to have this this is awesome another book you have to have is the royal road to card magic now both of these books are like 50 years old and they're kind of hard to read but they're 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 mainly for skimming through and looking at the pictures you can, you know, skim the words and, you know, just say, oh, okay, I kind of get that effect. But they're kind of hard to read, so it's more for skimming. But you have to have them. They're both, like, ten bucks each. Really cheap. Another book which I have not um, read, I kind of regret buying it, is Expert uh, Card Technique. And this book is more advanced stuff. This is just really hard for me to read because it's... I don't know, the wording just is really hard for me to read. Um, but, you know, if you want to get it, it's only like 14 bucks. Um, but it's good. It's thicker than uh, Royal Road to Card Magic, and it's more advanced stuff. Okay, now I'm done with those. Now, on to the gaff decks. Okay, we're going to get some gaff decks here. Let's see. Rising card deck, number one. I bought this deck on Penguin Magic, and it's okay. It's not the best trick in the world, I will admit. So you have a card selected, queen, whatever, diamonds I think it was. And whoa, the heart's on the front. How weird is that? And you just, my gimmick's kind of old, and it just rises out of the deck. So, it's cool. The gimmick isn't very high quality, and you gotta get some more double stick tape for the card to stick. Um, I hope that's not exposure, but it's okay. For 10 bucks, it's all right, but I'd say if you just use invisible thread, it's, I, I think that's, that's more high quality, I would say. Uh, the next deck I'm going to be showing you is hover card. This is a Dan Harlan effect. Illusionists resold this and um, made their own decks, you know, hover card decks or whatever. And I actually made my own hover card. Oh, this this one's kind of been in a box for a long time, so it's not gonna want to work. But it looks really cool. Card just floats off the deck. I did do a spoof. But that was just to make fun of Illusionist, not to make fun of the actual deck, because I think it's good. I would rate it 10 out of 10. It's cool. Next effect, Invisible Deck. I say buy it. Uh, it's cool. It gets awesome reactions, and uh, people freak out. Um, if there is some math you have to do, you have to like think of the card. Okay, I have to... Mul Divide that by three and, you know, do all this stuff in your head while you're pattering. So that's kind of hard to do. And then you find the right card and it's behind that card. So you just, it's, it's kind of hard. But um, I found a way where 
you can actually do it without doing any math. And if you buy this from Penguin Magic, I will actually post that. I need to post my uh, technique out as to how to uh, not do the math and for it to still work.